What's up everybody and welcome back to my life. So I've had this project that I started to work on and I never finished it. It's an old one of my skateboards that I carved in this kind of like pattern with a heart and heartbeat. And I have yet to finish it. And it's been bugging the crap out of me. I've kind of abused this board. I've used the other side as sandpaper for other projects that you guys have seen. But I think it's time that we give this a whole new look. Thank you for joining me and welcome to my life. So I think the first plan of action here is we should take this outside and give it a fresh coat of paint. I think that will give us a good base layer if we lay down some white and then go from there. So let's do that. So while that's drying, we need to set up our creative workspace here. I don't really have a plan for this particular project. I just know that I carved that out and that's where I kept it. I wanna make it look pretty. I don't have a plan, so I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys with me and explore the creativeness that just flows through my fingertips as I'm creating something. Anyways, let's get to setting this up because it's a wreck right now. We're still waiting on that to dry. I'm gonna get some tunes going, and now's a good time to let you guys know. I have a playlist on Apple Music called Welcome to My Jams that I try and update frequently with what I'm listening to. I'll leave a link in the description below if it's something you wanna check out. If not, that's okay. Also, good time to let you guys know if you enjoy seeing my videos, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, subscribing, and sharing your favorite video. We have goals here. I'd like to at least reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So without further ado, let's continue on with the video. Narrator Robert here. At this point, I decided to lay down the letters one love and mask that off in the middle of the heart. From there, I continued by using masking tape in a geometric pattern around the rest of the board. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I have three tattoos that are in the geometric shape pattern type of deal. I just love how it looks, the aesthetic of it. I laid it down in a just random pattern until I felt like it looked good. So now I'm going to start to fill it in with paint. I have a few colors here. I haven't been to the paint store in a while, so I'm just working with what I have. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. I think I'm going to start by filling in the heart with red and then working my way out with other colors, alternating, that kind of thing. So let's get to that. I also don't have paint brushes either because I am not very good at keeping them. So we're working with this tiny little brush as of right now. Now you might be asking yourself, what is this? This is a face mask cut and put around a popsicle stick and we're going to see if that helps this process at all. I was actually really surprised that using the face mask and popsicle stick worked as well as it did, but it wasn't perfect at all. It was a little frustrating, but a lot better than using the tiny little paintbrush that I had. So we had to take a brief intermission because I went to go help someone whose battery died, so I had to go jump them. While I was gone, I decided to pick up some actual paint brushes. Since I was out, I figured I'd get some. I left this outside to dry. Let's see how it's looking. Too bad at all. These are just from the dollar store because I didn't want to go to Michael's because it's a little ways away. Let's get this last layer on here and then we'll remove the tape and then I have an idea for the inner part where the heartbeat is. We'll see how that goes though. Alright, I'm going to switch to top view. We're going to remove this tape. We did have some bleed out from underneath the tape. I think that's easily fixable. I 
After I finished touching up the bleed out where the tape was, I decided to fill in the heartbeat and around the heart with gold paint. It didn't come out quite like how I wanted it to, but this was all an experiment. I'm not very good at painting and I just wanted to give it a shot and try and see if I could improve my skills. So I think I'm going to call it here. We learned something today and that is that I'm not that great at painting. But I wanted to try my hand at it to see if I could get better at it. Which I encourage any of you watching this to try something that you suck at. So this is this is the whole thing. Just give you that nice. That's all I have for you for today. Anyways, thank you for joining me and welcome to my life. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Thank you. Bye.